Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tommy G and Pete J. We're back for a new yeah. season. Uh, we're going to uh, take the B-Wolves after their championship season. We're going to lead them once more into the breach. Um, we're going to get ready here. It's been a, We've been away for a little while, so we're going to do a little exhibition just to remind ourselves how the game now, is played. <laughs> I didn't remember... Tommy I is pitching. I didn't remember like any of what my settings were. Uh -huh. Um, let's see here. Audio, audio and rumble effects. They're all at 80. The music was down at like, I want to say 25 or oh, it's doggone. I wish I had these. So I did my, yeah, I did my, the umpire was, I think at 50. Shoot. I took so much time to, uh, Voice chat by him. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember how loud everything was. You know. Yeah. Okay, I'm pitching. Yep. Uh, Popped up out of play. Strike one. Right. Masha Danga, the first baseman. Outside. Fouled off out of play. Bender's got her in the hole. One ball, two strikes. All right, let's see here. Swing and a miss. The first K for Hurley Bender. Harmony Strauss, the catcher, steps in. She's uh, neutral and fit, favors the outside pitch. All right. That's in it for called strike. Strike one on Harmony Strauss. That's fouled off straight back, and now Strauss is in the hole. 0 oh 2. Let's see what Bender does here. Seventh pitch. Catches the inside corner for call strike three. Two up, two down. And Bender's on a roll. Chimo Gaspar, the shortstop. Power versus left-handed pitching. That's not going to help him here. Chimo. But he is a powerful hitter. Rolls that one weakly into the dugout along the third baseline for strike one. That one's popped up behind the plate. Out of play. And very quickly, Chimo Gaspar finds himself in the hole 0-2. That's how Bender's been starting all the pitch <laughs> the batters off. There's a fair ball, and Kobe Kingman's going to dive for it to make the grab, flip it to Bender at first for the third out. We're going into the bottom of the first, Tommy. Nice. Hanley Dexteras, Billy the Boink, and Buster Biggs. i got to change a couple settings real quick here. Okay. We're going to face off against LaToya Lumberg, the wide, wide load pitcher. Hold on a second here. Hold on. Okay, uh, options again. She's still pitching. Oh, it's playing? I was going to say wait. she's still. Ah. Wait, wait a minute. How is, or, or you're hitting. Yeah. Okay, well, she's going to pitch to you, but isn't she going to pause for me? I, I don't know. That's weird. There you go. Now you got uh, time. Okay, all right. So it doesn't, it doesn't stop for you. It just stops. For... Okay, so effects, I'm going to go to 27. Music down to 20. My umpire volume. And Enjima engine cleaner. Pipe it in. Wash it out. Mm, please. Okay. Enjima engine right. cleaner. Uh, I think we're good there. Okay. All right. One out. Nobody on. Billy LeBoink, the right fielder, steps in. Oh, oh nice. an early swing by LeBoink. Yeah. <laughs> That one's high, ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. There's a smash. That's going to be out of here. And Billy LeBoyne's making us a... Oh, oh, no, at the wall. As Asensio makes the catch, but he gave it a good ride. <laughs> I'm getting some good performance here. For a newly retired player, he gave that a pretty good ride. <laughs> Ooh, three. And, oh, three. Oh. And she's walked phone, don't even swing. Ball four, take 
Is it Harmony Strauss? Is that what it is? I believe so, yeah. Harmony Str uh No, Latoya something. Uh, Kobe oh. Kingman, first baseman, steps in. He's a home run hitter. Runner at first base has some speed, but there's two outs. First pitch to Kingman's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Ball inside. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Kobe Kingman. There's a shot. That That's should be That's something he gone. never did. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be out of here. Home <laughs> run for Kobe Kingman, and the B-Wolves take a 2 to nothing lead in the bottom of the first. That one traveled 439 feet to right center. And Kobe Kingman, if he would have done that more often with the B-Wolves early on, he would have stayed. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, forget about it, this guy. Gina Torrens, I miss her. I miss her already. Right. First pitch in there for a strike. Oh, one of the counts. Bottom of the first inning. People's already out two nothing. That one's high. Toya Lumberg no. looking a little tense. Misses two balls. Two and one count to Gina Torrens. Right. That one makes the outside corner strike. Two weird up a two two two. The K man going for it. Hard hit line drive left field. That's gone. Back to back home runs. Beewolves. Showing why they're the best team in the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Something tells me the regular season ain't going to go quite like this. Nope. <laughs> I can't tell what the way these headphones work, if this is the levels that this thing is going to put out or, or what. But Yeah, that's why it's good to have these, these tests, you know. Yeah. Before we get into the actual season. First uh, pitch to, ooh, broken bat. Magic Moore evens up the count at one and one. That one's outside. Ball one. Ball two. The other thing is we got to work on our play-by-play. -play. It's been so long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Magic Moore, the center fielder, in at the plate. He gives that Only. one a good rip. That's, that's going to be foul. So he stays alive. That's down. That one's All down. Right. Now we got a full count. Three balls, two strikes with two outs. Latoya. Oh, like, she did it. Lumberg catches the corner for called third. I thought it was going to be high. Called third strike, but we're going to head into the top of the second. It's B-Wolves three, wide loads nothing. Hack Liner, Wade Hobbs, and Fungo Akuro. Akuro made that big catch. Hurley Bender with ten pitches and two strikeouts in the first inning. Well, you know, but this thing loaded my old, my old season. Right. It loaded all that stuff. So wouldn't it have kept my settings? But apparently uh, it didn't, because they weren't all at 80, I know that. I just don't know why it wouldn't have done that. Kind of weird, you know? Yeah. It's got everything except for my settings. One and two, the hack liner. Who no longer plays. Pulled him. Strike three. Another K. K's all days. Somebody dropped the ball in the go-around. <laughs> Wade Hobbs. No more needs to be said. Inside corner strike one watches it. Now he's here to play. Little twist in his stance. That'll hurt your back. So we're going to miss. Strike two. Oh, and two. Early vendor, the man of the hour. Oh, just right back to Molly and picks it up. Looks at Johnson Swanson. Says, watch this. <laughs> Tosses over for his face. The fungus. Cured. Number 11. Right hand batter's box bounce in his step. 18 pitches for the locked and early bender right now. Swing to strike one. High and inside fastball. Starting his second inning off. 3 nothing. B Wolves in control. Slider misses outside. Even at one apiece. Two outs. That's inside. Top of the second. That one misses inside. Now he's behind the count. Two and one to Fungo Akuro. Great contact hitter, Fungo. Makes contact there, pushes it a little too soon. Third baseline foul ball, two, two, two. Swing right, strike three. It's a pattern. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the bottom of the second. B Wolves three, wide loads nothing. Bertha Banks, Johnson Swanson, and Hurley Bender are all going to face off against Latoya Lumberg for the first time today. She's thrown 24 pitches with a strikeout, giving up a walk and a couple of hits. Bertha Banks, the third baseman's neutral and fit. I gotta see if I can find it. maybe this thing rescued my file somewhere, but I don't know. I don't know what the file would be called. Oh, Pete. Oh, fly ball shallow, left center. Gas bar the catch. 
Johnson Swanson, the catcher, steps in. Nobody on, one out in the bottom of the second. D Wolves with a 3 0 lead. First pitch is outside, ball one. Now it's outside as well, ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Swanson. That one's high ball three. Three straight balls to Johnson Swanson, and Latoya Lumberg is walk prone. Oh, she gets that one in there though for a called strike three and one now. A roller to the first baseman, Masha Donga. She's going to take it herself for the second out. So two up, two down, and in steps Hurley Bender. The Bender man not bending in this game. 0-2, though. He gets to get on, and he's not the best contact hitter on the planet. Oh. Power. It's that one hard, straight <laughs> up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Bounces off the roof, comes down, and gloves with Freeman. 1-2-3. Just got Good underneath night. that. He thought he was gonna. He thought he had that one lined up. So so you got to get that. You got to get that pop up practice going in the yeah. regular season. Here. <laughs> Perfect yep. that. Heading into the third, it's still three nothing. Uh, B Wolves. Janice, Janice Friedman. Second baseman. Janice Friedman. Step Janice. in. Janice. Janice. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Janice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. First pitch is fouled off along the third baseline. Strike one. That's down. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike now to Janice. Janice. They say Janice. Friedman. The second baseman. Ooh. And Hanley Dexteris is not going to be able to dive and make that play. So Friedman with his first single of the, the wide load's first hit of the day. So one on with no outs and insteps. Ella Royd's the right fielder. She's neutral and fit. Kind of a, a good power hitter. Roy's plays right field for the wide load. She takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. That's inside. That one's inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike now to Royds. Ella Royds. No. Oh, I don't know. That one was high. Ball two. There's a roller. Oh. And Gina Torrens is not going to be able to lay out and pick that one up. So that's another hit. Two straight hits now for the wide loads who seem to have the offense clicking here. So runners at first and second with no outs. Latoya Lumberg is tense but fit. The pitcher is up to bat now. Here you go. I'm going to make her hit a grounder on the third base line. Pitcher versus pitcher, and she popped gotcha. it up. Ooh. And she popped it into the air, and uh, Swanson was able to make the catch. A snap throw to first was unable to double up the runner at first base. So one out with runners at first and second, and Masha Danga, the first baseman, is uh, up. Takes the first pitch high, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's fouled off along the first baseline. That'll even the count. One ball, one strike with one out. Runners at first and second. That one's fouled straight back. Donga behind in the count, one and two. Bender delivers. That's fouled Ooh. off as well. Donga able to get enough of that to stay alive. How did she touch it? There's a roller to Gina Torn. She's going to flip that over to Bender. I mean, Dexteris and Dexteris to Kingman for the double play. And we're out of the inning and out of danger. So we're heading into the bottom of the third. It's still 3 0. B Wolves. Hanley Dexteris 0 for 1. Billy LeBlanc 0 for 1. And Buster Biggs with a walk. Latoya Lumberg at 34 pitches with a strikeout going up a walk and two hits. <laughs> Dexteris 0 for 1 today. He's a tough out utility player. Oh. Takes the first pitch over the inside corner for a called strike. Strike one. Oh. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike. Dexter has played a key role in winning that championship last season. He takes that pitch for a called second strike. One That's and two. Inside. Lumberg evens the count at two and two. There's a smash. That's going to get into the gap. No, that's going to fall in front of left fielder Hobbs, who will get it in quickly to Gaspar, the shortstop. Holding Dexteris to a uh, single. One on with can't no outs. De can't keep Dex off the plate. Can't do it. No, you can't. Done. <laughs> F-53 so far ain't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there she oh. got him. She picked him off. Let's see if he's going <laughs> to. Oh, no. They got him. Called it. She guessed it on that second one. Oh, oh no. One, two, He's <laughs> hacking. He's hacking now. <laughs> All right. So Buster Biggs, the left fielder. First time up, he walked. Nobody on, two outs. 
what looked like it was going to start uh, start to be a rally for the Bee Wolves has quickly petered out. <laughs> yeah. Ball one, Ooh. swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike now to Buster Biggs, the left fielder. Catches enough of that to push it foul along the third baseline. One ball, two strikes. Lumberg noted as, as a K-man around the league, but he gives that one a rip. That's straightaway center field right to Akiro for the third out. So we're heading into the fourth. It's still B-Wolves three, wide loads nothing. Harmony Strauss 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Chimo Gaspar 0 for 1 and Hack Liner 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Bender at 35 pitches with four strikeouts, and he's given up two hits. I haven't seen any sort of like stutter or anything, and I'm running uh, oh a higher... Oh, Magic Mark. Well, he, he didn't need to jump for that. He just reached up and missed it. Um, I think I'm at a higher resolution. Than I went. Right last season, I didn't have this monitor, did I? Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. So I'm pushing a higher resolution, and it's smoother. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, Bertha Banks hurting herself in the preseason. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sweet miss. Back to one or two. Ch Chibo, Ga Chibo Gaspar did great last season. And he's going to do even better this season. Well, the wide loads are on the board. 3 1. Heck, liner. All right. Early Bender losing his stuff. Fouled back off the net. Oh, and what? Wow, look at the power into contact. The heck, man. Hard foul balls. <laughs> Throw those things right in the trash. Oh. There's one up the mound. Magic Moore coming home. Oh, give me a break. Um, give me a break. Just a little bit of break. Just, just give me a minute to just... Catch my breath. Wade Hobbs 0 for 1. Number 5. Left field. The New York wide loads. That's me at that low pitch. It's ugly. Second pitch. Foul ball. Souvenir. Third baseline. Great to see him back on the field again. High curveball misses up top. 2-2. Two, 2-1. Two, two Sorry. Hard liner. Foul ball. Third baseline. 2-2. Two two. One more to put him away. Get that first out. The first elusive out. Anticipated the two strike, the two strike uh, split finger outside. Hard one to Billy LeBoink. Coming home, he's got the arm. Got him. Got him. Hey! Double play. <laughs> oh, we're gonna miss Billy LeBoink in right field. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he's just he's just showing up in the preseason just to hang out with his old friends. <laughs> oh, right. William, what a run it was. Wait, wait, end up on top at the ring. Hard foul ball, third baseline. 0-2, oh, one more to go against Fungo Akiro. Decides to foul it off. He's going to make early bender throw 60 pitches. Fouls it off the net. We got a... a uh, this looks familiar. There he goes, low inside check three. Take a seat. Yeah. Grab a towel. Yes, sir, but as we head into the bottom of the fourth, it's B-Wolves three, wide loads one. Kobe Kingman, one for one with a home run. Gina Torrens, one for one with a home run. Magic Moore, 0 for one with a strikeout. Latoya Lumberg at 45 pitches. Kingman is neutral and fit. One for one, a home run. Two RBIs on the day. First pitch to the Kingman, who got a home oh. run earlier. Watches it outside corner strike, 101 account. Oh. Bolts right now, underneath an 0 and 2. Three pitch strikeout. Three. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's the Kobe Kingman we yep, love. That's the guy we remember. <laughs> Gina Torrens, the. Uh, Second baseman, one for one with a home run and a walk, uh, and one RBI. There's a shot. She's going two for two. You miss her now? With two home run. No, off the wall. <laughs> but she's going to pull in the second with a double. Way to go. Yes, yes. We will miss <laughs> her, that's for sure. Tornzini. Magic Moore. Bring her home, Magic. She's got magic hands, mama. That one's a little high. One no the count. 51st pitch by Latoya Lumberg, who Pete was calling a he earlier. That's outside 2-0. Oh. 
Hard liner, that's in the gap in left center field. That's going to bring in Gina Torrens. That's going to bring Magic Moore all the way around from first base. Going to throw in the third to hold him up. Nice double, Magic Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, Bertha Banks, the third baseman, she's neutral. She's 0 for 1 today, though. Runner at second base with one out. Lumberg at 52 pitches. She's tense but fit. And Bertha Banks tries to lay down a bunt, but foul out of play. Uh -oh. Squares around to try again and takes that one for a called second strike. She's in the hole 0 and 2. That one's high, ball one. One ball, two strikes with one out. That one's low, ball two. Two and two now. Outside, ball three, and now the count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Ball four, <laughs> ball four. that one was low. So with one out, runners at first and second, in comes Johnson Swanson. Yeah, I mean, she goes 0-2, and two, ends up getting walked. Forget about it. Playing the double play. Oh. Johnson Swanson, another guy we let go Pop for up. a reason. <laughs> Pop up okay. again. Working on that pop-up, yeah. fine-tune that thing. <laughs> Get that all squared little, away before the season. Too deep. You're a little too deep on that one. You need to bring it in shorter. <laughs> Early bender 0 for 1. Runners at first and second with two outs. Bottom of the fourth, Beeble's 4. Wide loads 1. First pitch to Bender's fouled off. Oh, I want that one again. That one's in there for a called second strike. And very quickly, Bender's in the hole 0 and 2. Oh, yeah. That's in there for a called third strike. And that'll end the inning. So we're going to head into the fifth, top of the fifth. B-Wolves, four runs on five hits. Wide loads, one run on five hits. J uh, Janice Friedman, 1 for 1. Ella Royds one for one, and Latoya Lumberg 0 for one. Bender at 54 pitches with five strikeouts. Janice Friedman, neutral and fit. One for one with a single today. Friedman plays second base for the wide loads. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike now to Janice Friedman. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Friedman behind in the count. One and two. That's outside ball two. Two balls, two strikes with nobody on and nobody out. Bender tried to get Friedman to chase. Ooh, swung through that one for the first victim of the, uh, the inning. One out. In steps Ella Roy to the right fielder. She's neutral and fit. One for one with a single. Again, one out with nobody on in the top of the fifth. There's a shot, and that's going to get yes. Gina Torrance to lay out. She's going to pick up, double pump, make the throw to Kobe Kingman for the second out. Two down, and then steps the pitcher, Latoya Lumberg. She's neutral and fit. 0 for 1 today. Oh, they're Sorry, gonna, coming. Yeah, they're going to lift uh, Lumberg here, and they're going to bring in a pinch hitter. Darcy Hicks, the uh, backup first baseman, will pinch hit. He's neutral and fit. He's got... Uh, Good, very good power and very good ability to connect. He's a little bit less than average speed, though. So uh, he's a power hitting first baseman. They're going to have him pinch hit for Latoya Lumberg. We'll see a new pitcher for the wide loads in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Oh, and he is. did what he does. <laughs> he got a hold of that one. Oh, he almost, oh, got it, almost made the catch. Uh, Billy LeBoyne gave it a good try, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, that one traveled 369 feet and. Darcy Hicks makes it a 4-2 ball game as the wide loads are showing some uh, some life here in the fifth. Dars. Masha Danga going uh, 0 for 2 today. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to Danga's low, ball one. That's in there for called strike. Count now is one ball, one strike with two outs to Masha Danga, the first baseman. That one's a ripped. Oh, and he oh, misread that one. Yeah, he misread that one a little bit. Maybe could have gone a little bit flatter. He was, he was trying to get out, I think. Harmony Strauss, the catcher. So Masha Danga at first base. Harmony Strauss in the bat, uh, batter's box. She's one for two with a double. First Ooh. pitch to Strauss is low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. thought that was going to make its way in there. Allen's popped up into foul territory, out of play. That'll even the count at one ball, one strike with two outs. There's a roller to Bertha Banks. She's going to go to first and retire to side. Three outs. 
Darcy Hicks, the pinch hitter, will take a seat. They're going to bring in the relief pitcher, Molly Pops. Molly Pops is neutral and fits. She's average velocity, average dunk, and a little bit less than average accuracy. She's fully rested. She throws a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, and a curveball. And as we get into the bottom of the fifth, B-Wolves four, wide loads two, Hanley Dexter is one for two, Billy LeBoink 0 for two, and Buster Biggs 0 for one with a walk. Molly Pops is getting her first action here in the bottom of the fifth. Dexter is the shortstop, is neutral and fit. He's one for two with a single today. He is. Pops comes at him, sidearm, gets the outside corner on one, looking nice. Curves that one inside corner, just misses. Ball one. What a piece. Evened up. There he is hitting hard, ah. but it's on the ground. The dog a backhand over to first. One down. <laughs> yep. Billy LeBoink neutral and fit. He favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 2 today. Gave the first one a pretty good ride. Looked like it might have even been out of here, but uh, Janice Friedman was able to make the catch with his back to the wall. Very quickly, the count is one ball and one strike. That's an effort uh -oh. called second strike. One and two now to Billy LeBoy. That one's on the ground. Two and two. Nobody on in the bottom of the fifth. Beewolves with a 4-2 lead. That one there just shot. There it is. Billy LeBoy has made his <laughs> point. He was denied on the first uh, the first pitch, uh, the first uh, his first uh -oh. at bat, but he would not be denied all afternoon. 419 feet that traveled into the left field bleachers. And that'll make it 5-2 Beewolves. <laughs> Billy. Oh, that guy. William. Fans on their feet jumping around like monkeys when this is outside. One and all the count. They will sit down, Pete. <laughs> that one's also inside 2-0. and oh. oh, Pete. Dang, oh, a little bit of lag there. Dang, on that nabbit. pop up. Looking better. That one's in a Carroll's glove. I had some stutter there. I don't know what that was. Kobe Kingman, one for two with a home run and two RBIs. Two outs, nobody on. B-Wolves with a 5-2 lead. Swing oh. and a miss by Kobe. Strike one. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike now to Kobe Kingman. Now it's high, ball two. Two and one. That one's fouled straight back. Count is now two balls and two strikes with two outs. That's <gasps> in there for called third strike. And the Kobe Kingman we're used to of... Just he struck out the last two times up. Yeah, heading into Choking. the yeah heading in and he's yeah he was watching the third strike both times. Uh, heading into the top of the sixth, it's five two B wolves. Chimo Gaspar, the shortstop, steps in. He's neutral and fit. He's one for two with a double and an RBI. The legend, the man they call Chimo, takes a strike first one on the count to Gaspar. The Gasparian, 69th pitch by Hurley Bender, jams him, foul ball first baseline, third row, spits it out of his mouth, Bender looking to close out here against one of the toughest hitters in the league. Sweet of a strike three, makes an example of him. You can see, uh, what's her face back there? Ruby Green, another face, no longer on the team. Heck, liner, we good to do. Power, contact, he's got it all. He puts it all together. 71st pitch. Strike. Who's going to back up early once he decides to have a little seat here at the end of the sixth? First one's a strike. Second one's a ball. Third one, it's a mystery until he throws it. Let's see what he comes with. Takes a deep breath, winds up, throws. Ah. Jams some inside. That's just past the mound. Magic boards have to toss that into second base. Play a little catch with Henley Dexter's. Nothing too bad. Man on first base. We got an out in there. Wade Hobbs, center fielder. Power hitter mostly, some contact. b -Wolves looking for a double play ball. Got some speed at first base. Does liner. First one's inside, ball one. Johnson Swanson looking to make the throw, anticipated the mid-count middle way, but it also misses. Two and oh. Hard hit the center field. Magic Moore back on his horse. Grabs it, can throw it in, hold it at first base. On the ground, Regina Torrens. Two down, one to go. They just got to get past Fungo Akuro. Contact hitter from way back. Over two on the night. Day. Her ball in for strike. Inside corner low and in. Over one. High fastball fouls it off the net. Oh, and two. Looking good. 
Swing and a miss, foul ball. Going on 80 pitches. Oh, he checks it. It's a ball, one and two. But he hasn't swinging at everything thus far. It's good. There's a hard line on the ground. Hurley did. Bender, easy throw to first base. Yes, sir. So we're heading into the bottom of the sixth. It's the B-Wolves five, wide loads two. Gina Torrance, two for two with a home run and a double. Magic Moore, one for two with a double and a strikeout. Bertha Banks, 0 for one with a walk. Molly Pops through 16 pitches with a strikeout in her one inning of work. Gina Torrance, the second baseman, second baseman, is locked in and fit. Two for two. Ball inside. Two for two with a home run and a double and an RBI. Greg. Oh, come on. Ball and a strike. Great. Low and away. Oh, <laughs> strike two. One and two. She's going to close on her. Here it comes. 20th pitch. Ooh, it misses. Two and a, two. And two. Ah. It's a quarter. Right in the middle of Freeman. What one down. Dag, man. It. Magic Moore, the center fielder's neutral and fit. It's one for two with a double and an RBI. Nobody on. One out. Bottom of the sixth. Swing and a foul ball straight back. That one's lifted in the air. Uh, it's a line drive to the sh uh, shortstop. Makes the catch for the second out, two outs. Bertha Banks, open one, walked once. Crowd cheer oh, on. Dang, man. There's that pop up. That's what, yeah, even. no offense, but the last three hits, that's exactly what I'm doing again. Right straight up in the friggin' air. Like to get under that thing. All right. Seventh inning, this is it. Uh, B-Wolves five, wide loads two. They need three to tie, four to take the lead. Jan uh, Janice Friedman will lead off. One for two with a single. He's neutral and fit. Friedman, the uh, second baseman. Bender's starting to show some uh, wear in the velocity. They're not going to mess around. They're going right to the bullpen. They're going to bring out Tats Bell for the relief pitcher. He's neutral and fit. He's got that less than average velocity, about average junk. Uh, poor accuracy, but he's fully rested. He's walk prone. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. Well, another old face. Yes, sir. First pitch to Friedman's in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller, but foul. And very quickly, Janice Friedman is in the hole. Oh, ball, no balls, two strikes. Ball Takes that one high, ball one. One and two now. Ball low. That one's low, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Ball. That one's fouled back. Friedman will get another pitch. Two and two. He gets enough of that to push a foul into the dugout along the first baseline. Tats Belfort with a big sneeze. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out. Oh. That one's low ball three. And we've gone to a full count. Three balls, two strikes, Belfour walk prone. There's a hard shot to Gina Torrance. She'll pick it up, double pump, make the throw to Kobe Kingman for the first out. One down, and then steps Ella Royds, the right fielder. She's neutral and fit. One for two with a single today. Nobody on, one out. First pitch from Belfour is in there for called strike. Strike one. That oh. one's low ball one. One ball, one strike now. Belfour at 10 pitches. He can't score on that breaking pitch. That one's fouled straight back. And very quickly, Ella Royds is behind in the count. One and two. There's a roller, and Belfour will pick it up. A comebacker. And very quickly now, two outs, and the wide loads... Uh, Hopes of a uh, win, uh, well, win are, are dimming here. They're pulling Molly Pops for Olaf Beerson. Beerson, a uh, pinch hitting left fielder. He's uh, neutral and fit. He's got good power, but he struggles to make contact and he doesn't have a lot of speed when he does get on base. So Olaf Beerson pinch hitting for Molly Pops in the top of the seven. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to Beerson's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Belfort going right at him. Right. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And very quickly, Olaf Beerson is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. That one's popped up, and Bertha Banks is there in foul territory. She's camped out underneath it. Makes the catch, and the B Wolves win the charity exhibition game against the Wide Loads. It's the uh, all-time B-Wolf team against the all-time wide load team, and, and this time the B-Wolves take it. Look at that.
that. Be Wolves the difference win, is the first inning. Yeah, yeah, got out early and uh, got some offense going pretty quickly, yeah. Uh, Liner goes two for three. Hicks, oh, Hicks one for one, the home run. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately for them, it was a solo home run. He came in on the pinch hitting situation. Uh, yeah, would have been. I'm sure they would have uh, preferred to have a couple of base runners on in front of them. But um, look at, yeah, look at Gina Torrens there, two for three. <laughs> two, two for three. Yeah. Scored two runs, had a home run. She had uh, one RBI. So yeah. Kobe Kingman, two strikeouts. He did hit the home run, though, today, and he did get yep. racked up two RBIs. But, yeah, that's we're kind of used to the multiple strikeout performances by Kobe Kingman. Um, Billy LeBoink, they, you know, I thought for sure they were going to keep him off of the uh, off of the tally sheet this, today, but no, in the last, his last at bat, he was able to drive that one 419 feet, I think it was. So yeah. good offense. Um, you look at the pitching. Uh, Latoya Lumberg just did not have it today. Again, like my partner pointed out, that first inning she just got away from her. You know, four uh, yeah. four innings pitch, gave up five hits, four earned, uh, two walks, three strikeouts. She gave up two home runs. Yeah, they got a few K's. Yeah, well, and look over there. Win. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. Bell for the save. <laughs> yeah, that's great when you get both of those things in one game. Yeah. Players of the game, look at that. We gave her up. Yeah. We gave up two of those players. <laughs> two yeah. Them. Yeah. Although, to be honest with you, again, I, I like Kobe Kingman. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to yeah. bash the guy. But um, he's he has some been uh, burning up the uh, charts uh, yeah. where he's been. So, you know, he's yeah. not a horrible player. He's just, you know, he's a power hitter. And, and when you're a power hitter, you live by the long ball and you die by the long ball. If you're not hitting it home runs, you're not hitting. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. unfortunately, that's that's kind of the the um, that's the line on on Kobe Kingman, yeah. and that's why we had to let him go because early on, you know, he just wasn't hitting, so we couldn't yeah. we couldn't carry him. Torrens, you know, she's one of those players. She's been solid. You know, she's been a solid player for us. Um, I think it was really kind of a contractual thing, wasn't it? She was she was getting to a point where she wanted more. Well, we money. had to get rid of one of the second base people. Yeah. And I think we got rid of the wrong one. <laughs> Freddie Knox has been uh, underperforming. But... Oh, that's right. It was between her and uh, yeah. Freddie Knox, right? Okay. Hurley Bender, cool. obviously superstar. He's he's yeah. gonna be, he's gonna serve out his career here we'll in Phoenix. Him. He'll be there a lot. Yeah, we're not gonna let him go, even if he wants to. We'll give him whatever he wants. <laughs> Tommy G with four hits, two home runs, three RBIs, three strikeouts for a contribution of 56%. Pete J, I only had two hits the whole game? He had two great catches and four strikeouts. One home run, two RBIs, two great catches, four strikeouts, 44%. Yeah. Stay tuned because the uh, regular season will be starting soon.